Hello and welcome to Mini Motorways. Uh, this actually used to be a game that was featured on Apple Arcade. I actually played this on my phone. Uh, I joined Apple Arcade literally just to play this game. And I played it for many, many hours and I hated myself for it every time I'd make a mistake. Because let's face it, uh, this game, oh yeah, this game is very addicting. And it has just come on Steam, which is actually amazing because... I never thought I'd see this on PC, and this is the first time I'm booting it up. So if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I'm not being sponsored for this at all. There's no no payment going on here. I literally just think that this is a cool and fun game, and I thought, hey, why not? Let's play it and see how it goes. So welcome to Mini Motorways. Mini Motorways is about drawing the roads that drive cities around the world. Left click and drag to build roads. So as you can see, look at that. Right click and drag over roads to delete them. And by the way, you have a limited amount. Okay, you have a limited amount of resources with which to build your roads. So that's where the puzzle element sort of comes in. Anyway, if you prefer not to right click to delete, you can turn on the draw or delete toggle, enable or disable the setting. Would you like to enable this? Uh, no. Thank you. I'm happy to right click to delete. I think that's perfectly fine. All right. So what's going to happen now is buildings are going to appear randomly in random locations. And you're going to have to merge them with each other. So basically, I, I imagine that th this is a house, basically. Yeah, as you can see, connecting the house. I imagine this is th this is a house of a person and they need to get to work or they need to get to wherever, you know fun fun day out or something the ice cream parlor or whatever and you're trying to help them get there so as you can see when a pin appears this indicates a car wants to drive to this destination that's exactly right there so it's telling you when the need is of utmost importance basically and now what happens is as you continue expanding in this game you are going to get a slow but very gradual and extremely satisfying zoom out of the camera and eventually you're going to have so many roads and so many houses and so many cars driving around on your roads you're going to have some issues potentially you're going to have traffic problems and you're going to need to deal with them there are also of course because it is called mini motorways there is the ability to construct motorways or if you are uh, not familiar with the term motorway, then it's more like a highway. It's like a highway or an autobahn or whatever you want to say. So I can basically decide whether I want to build this like, th like this, or whether I want to build it like a grid, or whether I want to have it be curved or anything like that. And I can also change the orientation of the house. So for example, if I just build the road from a different angle, that's how I can do it like that, you see. So now what I've learned in my time playing it on the phone is that if you have um, only one road and that road is the, 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 the thing that everyone goes along, it's going to be extremely congested in the end. If you've ever lived in a capital city and you've driven or you've been driven by someone else, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like that. So, for example, in the end, what's going to happen? This road right here is going to get super congested. It is. It gets even more congested when these kinds of things happen. Yes. Okay, we're going to have to go all the way across here. Now, this is an, <laughs> this is an intersection. This is not good. Having an intersection like this is going to mean that there are a lot of cars waiting to pass by. And it is just going to result in a lot of waiting time and that is indeed the problem because eventually you're going to start running out of time because most of these pins right here these are actually time based they are going to you know you're going to be required to uh, make sure that your denizens are able to get to their destination in time and you only have a limited amount of road tiles so you can't make things as efficient as you want them to be you just have to make the best of a very messy situation most of the time. And as I've said, there are very random spawns 
And yeah, at the end of each week, you'll be able to choose between two sets of upgrades. So this is obviously what is going to happen now. So generally, you can choose whether you have this, which gives you a bridge and 10 road tiles, or you can choose the traffic light and 10 road tiles. Obviously, at the moment, they're just giving us the tutorial and they're just wanting us to use the bridge. So that's exactly what we're going to do, because we need to use the bridge to get over here, as you can see. Now, there is a way to game the system. Okay, so obviously because I was quite a, uh, I, I was quite addicted to the game on, on phone. Um, I, I looked up some stuff and I found out really, really nice strategies for certain maps and all that sort of thing. And generally, the best way that you can do things is if you predict or shall we say force the game to spawn its houses in certain places. So for example, if you have a spare amount of road tiles, we, do, we don't need colorblind mode at the moment, even though I do have some issues seeing color sometimes, I'm gonna say no. Um, but it's really nice that they actually have this because I do use this in some games. I do actually use this in some games because as I say, uh, some of the time it's really, really useful, but I'm not gonna enable it for this one. All right, so yeah, anyway, as I was saying, if you have enough road tiles or if you're just generally being quite efficient, what you can do is you can kind of, um, shall we say, occupy certain locations on the map with your roads. And as a result, buildings will not spawn there. And so it kind of makes it a little bit easier for you to determine where things are going to appear and make it slightly less random and if you can do that successfully and continue to do that successfully you'll be having a whale of a time and you have a very very large city in no time at all or a road, road network shall we say tap on this upgrade okay so yeah tap on this upgrade of course they still have the um they still have the phone phone language which you know it, the games just come out I think they, they may change it, they may not change it. I, I, I personally don't really care whether it says tap or click, to be honest, because I understand that it's a phone game. But generally, I think that this game is actually really well done, super polished, and it is very satisfying to play, as I've said. And you can pick it up for a very small price. It's like $10 or something like that on PC. And, uh, you know, that's it. There are no microtransactions or anything. You just pick it up and it's it's there. So it's really nice. Anyway, you can place this at the intersection. That's what I'm going to do. So as you can see, we've got the traffic light right there. And that's obviously going to help us to control the traffic in some way or another. Now, I've actually used traffic lights in my time on the phone game. On the phone version, shall we say, on the mobile version. And traffic lights did not work very well for me there. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean that it's going to be the same here. Maybe they've made some improvements or maybe in general I'm going to be slightly smarter because, well, <laughs> maybe I was being a little bit idiotic before. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But this is an extremely relaxing game as well. Although it can get very hectic eventually, it is a game that requires very little input from you specifically. So you can pretty much just lay down your road and then you can see what happens. And you can also make various changes as well. So for example, if I wanted to, I could make another, oh, here we go, we're gonna get a motorway itself. But yeah, if I wanted to, I could make another road that goes like this, you see? So we can just have a road that completely ignores the traffic light there. And instead, these guys, the blue cars, they might turn off here and then use this road. This guy is deciding not to do that for some reason, but okay. Anyway, drag a motorway onto a road to place the start of the motorway. Okay, well, I have no idea really where they want me to place this, to be honest. But I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it... I have no clue, actually. Ah, uh, I will place it round about here. And then we drag the shield all the way over, and we're going to be placing it round about here. There we go. So now that basically means that red cars that want to get over to the red workplace or the red ice cream parlor or whatever you want to call it are going to use the motorway instead because it's just a quicker route for them as you can see and that in turn alleviates a lot of the pressure that is being put on the intersection right there 
So if you can use your motorways effectively, uh, you know, in conjunction with your traffic lights, you're going to have a very nice, smooth experience. And there are a variety of different maps, as they said at the start. There are, um, basically, there are environments all across the world. So at the moment, we are in Los Angeles Harbor and Santa Monica Bay. And this is basically Los Angeles right here. And uh, that's just a representation of it, obviously. Very minimalistic representation. And we're just going to do this. There's the greenhouse. So technically what I could do is I... Uh, hmm. Okay, so technically what I could do is this. Something like that. And I'm not entirely sure if that's going to make a difference to where the green cars actually go. But it would be quite nice if they decided to do that. I'm also going to put the red over here. This is also bad. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed yet by watching the gameplay itself. But if you place a road in a curved line, cars are inevitably going to slow down, which obviously is not so good for you because you want them to reach their destination as fast as possible. Anyway, a roundabout. I don't think I've actually had a roundabout before. Okay, drag a roundabout onto an intersection or section of road to keep traffic moving and reduce congestion. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Ah, uh, I have no idea where to place it. Here? I guess I'll place it around about there. I have no idea how it's going to go, but yeah, sure. I don't th I think that's a new addition actually. Or uh yeah, I think that might be a new addition because I haven't played the the mobile game for a while now. I was playing a few months ago. So maybe they've released a new update or maybe I just didn't get that far because I wasn't very good at the game to be fair. So, you know, it uh they they might have done a little bit of an upgrade there. Who knows? But um yeah. This is one of those games which, in my opinion, everyone should probably play at some point because it is just so relaxing. The, the soundtrack is very relaxing too. And as you can see, look at that. If too many pins build up on a destination, a timer will appear. And that is, of course, yes. That is your game over, you know, or your win condition, you know, uh, or your failure state or whatever you want to call it. If the timer runs out before enough pins are picked up, your game will end. All right, let's put this, uh, I'm going to put this roundabout like this. And we're just going to have that car go all the way over there because we want that to happen. And as you can see here, let, there we go. Connect the new houses so they can collect pins before the timer runs out. Hopefully that is going to work. There we go. I have just enough road. Do you see that? I have literally zero roads left. So obviously that's going to be a bit of a problem. Now technically what I could do is if I wanted to save additional roads, I could destroy this really long road here and I could just connect this red house to this red house here instead. Which would probably be more efficient in terms of keeping roads in sort of, you know, in supply or in, in the uh, in your inventory or you know, whatever. But generally I kind of like it that this, this particular person is going to come out of his house and then just be like, boom, I'm going to floor it all the way. That's going to be super nice. Okay, I'm going to go for the other bridge because that is going to enable me to do this. And then I'm going to destroy this road. There we go. And now we have even more roads, which is fantastic. And we have a bridge and we can even do this if we want to. And that's now going to connect this side and that side together, which is going to make all the difference in the world, or at least I hope it will. And there you go. Left click the clock to show the pause, play and fast forward buttons. So yeah, so basically you've got fast forward. As you can see, I'm playing on a faster speed now. So that's 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 perfectly fine with me. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I have played the game before, so I should I should be all right. Right. Yes, maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. But generally, you don't have to play it like this. You could even pause if you want to, as you can see right there, which is really nice. So you can think about your decision that you want to make or whatever the case may be. So there's a huge amount of accessibility to the game as well. So if you're not particularly fast or you need a bit of thinking time, like maybe I do sometimes, then obviously it's there for you, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, as you can see, right click to delete any unnecessary roads. So this is obviously going to be a bit problematic, isn't it? How am I supposed to do this? Well, I have no idea, actually. Hmm. What about this one? Let's delete that one and then we'll just do it over here. 
I've run out of roads again. Are you serious? Okay, uh, traffic light, roundabout. I think roundabout's probably looking pretty good right now. There we go. Let's put that there. Put this here. Put this here. Connect that. There we go. And we'll probably connect this like so. There we are. Now we're going to have to start being a little bit more... Uh, uh, oh, there we go. I actually did it. Okay, fantastic. Whew. Okay, so you see, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? If you play on the faster speed, it can get very hectic because then you're, you're, then you're like, oh, what do, I, what do I have to do here? I have to delete this. I have to make another road there. I have to build a roundabout and so on and so forth. And there we go. We mastered the basics, apparently. Fantastic. And this is what we are going to be able to play. So you can play... Los Angeles, Beijing, Tokyo, and then you can unlock a variety of others. And you, you can see here that every single one of these is unlockable by completing a certain number of trips in the previous levels. So, for example, if you want to get, uh, I don't know, Moscow, then you can do that by getting 300 trips in the previous one. And that is, in my opinion, very cool. There are a huge amount of different... Um, different layouts as well, by the way. So you can see here that uh, Tokyo, for example, has a split river in the middle of it. And uh, you can even play on a nighttime map as well, or you can decide what kind of... Um, well, basically this is, you know, night mode. It's basically night mode for your, for your map. And you even have the ability to take a look at the <laughs> at the leaderboards as well which is really quite cool but this is tokyo let's just actually go there right now and you can see the start once again and that is uh, that's basically mini motorways for you that is it and uh i i love this game i really do so i thought hey why not i'm just gonna show it to you if you don't like it that's that's perfectly fine you know if you don't like it then that's obviously up to you but Generally, I do feel like this is probably one of the most re re relaxing, I was going to say realistic, no. Uh, it is one of the most relaxing games that you possibly might play recently. And uh, who knows? Maybe you'll, uh, maybe you'll like it enough to purchase it. Anyway, there's a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.